Welcome back to this tutorial series. We're now in part three of RPG Maker and uh, we're gonna make a character. And I will be assigning homework because just following a tutorial uh, isn't gonna help you remember things. You need to do it on your own. So you're gonna have something to do after this. But um, when you go into the database, go to actors, you can see all your characters here. So you've got their face image and then you've got their battle sprites. This is what you can generate in the character generator as well as the battlers. So this icon up here, character generator, we're gonna open it and I am just gonna make a character and you can also randomize, you can come up with some terrifying stuff but sometimes some pretty cool stuff. So let's make a female character. All right, so all you're gonna do here is just go down the list and make everything. I'm just going to go through it pretty quickly because you know how it goes. If you did my last video, you probably already made one of these. All right, cool. So um, I just very quickly made a character. Feel free to pause if you need to, if you need time for your beautiful creation, but go ahead and make a character. And then when we're done, now you've got three buttons right here. Well, actually four. So you've got face image, walking character, damaged character, and battler, which are all more or less visible right here. So first is face image. Now you're gonna do export and it should navigate to the folder you've already made and let's say custom faces, whatever. Just name it something that you're gonna know and that's it, you've already done it. So now if you go to import, you can see that this is already in there and you can actually make another one so let's say you wanted to give her some facial expressions. So let's go back to the face and yeah, we'll change the, usually it's the eyes and the mouth. You don't really have to change anything else. So there she is very like, what the hell did you just say to me? So face image, we'll put that there and then we'll export it and we're gonna overwrite custom faces. Yes. So now you can see it's got both of them in there. And let's do a third one just for fun. Yeah, we'll make her happy. She's like, yay. And she's laughing. So cute. Okay, export. There we go. And then, all right. So that's how you make different expressions. Um, you can also take these images into like an editing program and touch them up if you want. That's a fun little trick. Now here are the walking sprites. This is universal for characters. So this row is, you can't tell, but they're stepping. So if she's walking down, it's like step, 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 and it repeats, same with left, right, and up. So again, we're gonna export custom char for character and close, okay. Now damaged character, this is your character falling down dead but not in battle, this is like on your map. I've never really liked these because they, I don't know. It just looks like they're sprawled out on the floor doing a handstand or something. But if you really must have your character falling down like that, custom char fall, save. Okay, and next we've got battler. So this is your in combat attacks and you can see she's, um, got different animations for all the different types of combat. From what I know, the weapon is added separately, so it looks like she's swinging nothing, but you don't have to worry about that. So, custom char battler, okay. Okay, so that's it, we're good. Now, you can save the settings, which will bring this back up, but usually I don't just because it's unnecessary, but if you really need the safety of doing that, just remember where you saved it so you can load it back in. So let's add her to the party. So let's go back to the database and we're gonna change read. Um, I didn't think of a name for her. So here you see custom faces is available. Um, let's, I don't know. Let's name her Wedgie. And I don't think it matters, but we'll say sorcerer, sure. Okay, now character, custom char, boom, already set up. Battler, 
Custom Char Battler. Boom, that's it. That's literally it. Now when you start the game, there you go. It's that easy. Okay, now you know how to make a character. Now my homework for you is I want you to make another character. Exactly what we just did, make a second character. In fact, make, make three or four if you want to. Make your own little party and that way you're giving yourself the ability to remember this because just following me doing it is not going to help you remember. We're here to learn. So go do that for your homework and I'll see you in the next video. Good luck.